I wanted to make this video for any beginner developers to show how you might want to go about storing player stats. So what I'm going to do is create a new package, call this data. And then in that package, I'm going to create a new class and you can call this whatever you want. Player stats, player data. I like calling it player memory. And then in here you can have whatever stats you want for that player. So for example, if you wanted like a custom double for health. And then you could do like something like maybe you want custom armor or mana or like maybe maybe you want an interray for something. The point is all the player data will be stored into this class and obviously you're going to want to get some getter and setter functions. And if you're using IntelliJ and you're using Windows you can do alt insert and then it'll have it getter and setter. And I'll put it for all these variables. There you are. Now you may want something like a damage and heal function. For example. Like public void. Damage. And that'll just subtract the health by whatever amount. But of course you could also add other checks in this. If you want to check the health to zero for example. But the whole point is this stores the data for a player. Now how are you going to use this data? Well. Make a new class. And I'll call this player utility. And then you could have a private static map. This will take in a string and a player memory. And I'll just name this player memory. And that will equal to a new hash map. And now you can do something like a public static player memory. Get player memory. And it'll input a player. And if the player memory doesn't contain the key of the unique id to string then we're going to create a new player memory and then put that in there for the player and return that otherwise we'll just return player memory dot get player dot get unique id to string and there you are now usually what i like to do is when a player joins the server they should always have a player memory in this so this should never really occur this just just in case and then you can also have another static this time it could be a void set player memory and then plop in the memory and a very simple dot put their unique id to string and the memory in there now if you have an events listener you can make a private void on join player join event don't forget to tag that as event handler and so on this you can set the player memory and you can get that from a config and so from in here you can get all the data from a config or database and put it into that player memory i'm not going to explain much about configs because there are other videos stating on how they work and how to do this and that but I will show you how you may want to set this up if you're using a config method. So you'd want to put it in your plugins folder and your plugin name and then having a player folder and then in that player folder it'll have all the UUIDs of the players. So then that way you just find what player you're looking for, their UUID, and then you open that up and then it'll have all their data for them. So for example I have a custom backpack that I've made and in there it just has all the items saved in each pouch and then the upgrades to each pouch and then in here it has all the general information about that player and for this example it has all the stuff that we had in our player memory so the health the armor the mana and then just the something mistake i made when i first started doing this was i made folders for each of the stats and then in there that's where i stored the uids so if you have a lot of players you would have to keep looking through all of them, finding each individual UUID. And this worked, but if you wanted to go through and look at their, the data of someone, it would be a really big pain to look through multiple stuff. Like if I wanted to see their general, I'd have to search through their UIDs, find it, open it up, and then go back, go into their backpacks, and then find their UUID again. Overall, this method was a mess and a pain to look through any data for a player. So I highly recommend instead of this, have just one player folder and then have one folder that has their UID on it and then in that folder it'll store all of their player data. If you wanted to do something like that, you could have a, on the player utility, you could have a public static string 
and then call that get folder path and it will put a player and then it will it'll return bucket bucket plugins folder bucket absolute path and then add that with slash player slash and then add the player bucket unique id and that path will lead you to that player's designated folder and then from there you can get whatever file we need and i also made it so whenever you're setting a player memory if memory equals null then it will remove it and then otherwise it will just plop it in there and this is so we can clear the memory whenever the player quits so then what you can do is on join you make a new player memory and then get the file and this checks if that file exists if the general.yml file exists then it will get all of the configs the health armor and mana and set that all in the memory otherwise it's going to set some default values and then it will set it using the player utility and then whenever a player quits we get their memory and then save all of their stats into the general.yml config save it all in there and it is always important to garbage collect we're setting the player's memory to null and because of that it's removing it from the hash map if you don't do that you're gonna have garbage sitting in this hash map you don't need it you're not using it for anything and the more players that keep joining and leaving your server it's going to eat up that ram and you're going to get performance issues feel free to comment any questions down below and that's it farewell